Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss about the histological sections of the reproductive system. This is the third part of this identification of histological section series. So regarding the contents, I am going to discuss about two very popular histological sections. That is the histological section of the ovary uh, which comes under the female reproductive system and the histological section of the testis which comes under the male reproductive system. So this is the histological section of the ovary. You can see that uh, this part it is called the graphene follicle and uh, this is the matured graphene follicle. Uh, how we can say that that is a matured one because this internal region which is called antrum this is uh, much more visible here and number two this is the matured ovum that is the oocyte written here oocyte so this is the matured graphene follicle and you can see here one growing graphene follicle antrum is uh, not uh, uh, totally visible here and the oocyte is also slowly growing so uh, these two are the identifying characters that is the presence of the matured and the immatured graphene follicles and here you can see a lump of cell which is called the corpus luteum and it is totally filled up by the lipid materials so when the ovum is not present that is called the corpus luteum so these two are the main identifying features of the mammalian ovary so see identifying characters presence of matured graphene follicle just uh, I want to a reminder something that uh, go through the uh, proper spelling that is G R double A F I N there is double A so it's a graphene follicle with ovum presence of corpus luteum consisting of luteal cell mass containing lipid materials so these two are the identifying characters of the ovary that is the mammalian ovary and this is the transverse section so our next one is testis so you can see that lots of seminiferous tubules are there these all are seminiferous tubules and the spermatozoa see here spermatozoa so these are arranged inside the seminiferous tubules each and every seminiferous tubules contains spermatozoa so this is the first identifying character that is the presence of uh, seminiferous tubules along with the spermatozoa and within the seminiferous tubules you can identify that these are the Leydig cells see Leydig cells so these are the Leydig cells which are the another identifying characteristic feature of the mammalian testis so the presence of the seminiferous tubules which contains the spermatozoa and the other cells and also the presence of the Leydig cells see presence of seminiferous tubules arranged in lobules and presence of interstitial cells of Leydig and Sertoli. So it is the transverse section of mammalian testis which comes under the reproductive system or male reproductive system. So these are the references for your further study. So thank you very much for observing this video. Keep in touch for more videos and this video is continued to part 4 where I am going to discuss about some other sections, about some other systems. So long. Bye-bye.